Uh, this is Marcus Tool again, and I am actually still in the west arm of Winlow Lake, but at least I'm uh, free out of the bushes, and as soon as I get free out of the bushes and turn the camera on, the wind starts blowing to make it a little bit more of a challenge to control the canoe. But I am about to go into the main lake and then take us into the east arm if the wind will let me. Uh, once again, these guys who have cameras mounted on hats definitely have an advantage. And if I was as good of a paddler as my dad was, I would have no problem uh, maneuvering this boat with one arm. But it's a, <clears throat> but for me, <clears throat> that's a skill I've never really quite uh, mastered quite to the level he does. So now, now we're kind of like in the main lake and up there is the east arm and there's sort of the entry to the west arm that we just came from. Um, so here we go. Um, the east arm is, e now that the lake is truly full again, the east arm is actually longer than the west arm is. Uh, I guess it's always been longer. Um, it's a bigger creek. But, um, but the west arm actually has two creeks. I actually didn't realize that it had two creeks until fairly recently. We were walking back and what I thought was the west prong or the west the creek that led to the lake. The other pond, it did not. It just led out into a sort of a boggy spot. Well, we're heading up into this prong about where that tree is laid down is about as far as you could have gone um, before we drained the pond last year um, at least that was true for many many years so um, up in here is just new lake area it's all well not new but reclaimed And I don't even remember this being deep enough to fish in, but it sure is now. Um, there's less vegetation in the water because it's shadier than the other spot. Now, of course, all of our fish are itty bitty, but I don't, and I don't know what percentage of these trees are going to die now that they've been flooded again. Now, some of the trees have had have been flooded before, before the lake got low, and but some of them have not and then of course it's been years since this area has been flooded so uh or flooded and stayed flooded so some of this stuff might even die out i suspect it will um so we'll see we'll, we won't know until later on in the summer how many of the trees survive this but for now it's pretty shady and my hunch is that when the when the fish get bigger, this is going to be a really good fishing spot. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Uh, I got to turn the boat around. Thanks.